Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel here. Uh, I was out this evening so I haven't been able to conduct any too many experiments. This afternoon I um, preconditioned the cells according to the procedure at overunity.com by placing uh, voltage, positive voltage on the outer plates, 12 volts, and applying it to each neutral plate working towards the center to the negative plate one at a time for a few seconds and then allowing it to sit at 12 volts for a rather long time. Didn't really see anything happen very much and uh, I've gone through a procedure tonight where um, I've added about a tenth of a teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate or baking soda to the solution and brought the voltage up to about 48 volts when I did that I saw some uneven gas production between the plates but it was balanced on both sides and I hope I hope to be able to give you a, a look at this in fact I'm gonna get my camera down here real quick <coughs> pardon the vibration but I want you to see this is the cell and you'll notice there's some scum and foam forming on the on the extreme ends of the cell where the positive terminals connect towards the center less so uh, what's happening is we're getting a gener generation of microscopic bubbles in the outer cells and if I put maybe a piece of white paper behind here you'll see that a little bit better Alright, let's get in there, get a tight close-up on the cell. There we go. You can see how the um, the electrolyte in between the outer plates is cloudy because it is producing fine bubbles of gas and the uh, electrolyte in between the inner plates is less cloudy because it's producing larger bubbles of gas. Right now I am at 96 volts and about half the plates are producing quite a lot of small bubbles and the inner plates are producing quite a lot of the large bubbles. I believe this is due to the charging sequence of the plates this morning when I applied 12 volts starting with the first two plates on the outside but leaving the positive terminal connected to this outer plate right here and then attaching the negative terminal to for my 12 volt supply working down the neutral stack all the way t until I got to the center. Each time you do that you apply less and less of a voltage differential across across the remaining cells because you're now putting more in series. Uh, so it's it's clear that the preconditioning process definitely has an effect and um, the plates that received more voltage initially are producing better gas, I think better gas, than the plates that did not. They are all producing something, but it, uh, like I said, it is not very even. So now we are at 96 volts. I don't know if I can focus this any better for you because now we're, we're in nice and tight, nice and close. Let's see here. cameras are cheap so I apologize for that and it's about as good as it gets but you can see in fact on camera I can see it better than I could with the naked eye that the formation of this of the uh, bubbles occurs deeper in the most extreme outer cell and in uh, towards the inner cell we are getting we're getting less. I really have to believe that that may have something to do with the leakage current across the cells as well. Um, as you work from positive to negative. Since the bottom of the electrolyzer cell is drilled and the liquid is, uh, the electrolyte is exposed to adjacent cells that way, as the as the voltage differential drops across the stack of cells, I, 
that really seems to me the a, a, a possible conclusion from this. Um, I just want to double check and see how much current I'm drawing. And in a moment that should stop bouncing for you. I'm just going to switch to the milliamp scale, actually the amp scale, because it's over 200 milliamps, I believe. Move my probe. Uh, positive goes there. Negative goes there. Okay, so at 96 volts, we are drawing approximately almost half an amp. It's uh, 470 milliamps. And there is some gas visibly rising off of the electrolyzer cell. Um, voltage is being generated by a variac, which is a, a variable AC transformer and it's fed, fed to a full wave rectifier bridge filtered with a capacitor so it should be fairly good DC and uh, the the average DC voltage is 96 volts um, I'm waiting for analysis of my conclusions from the folks over at the overunity.com forum there are people there who are much more experienced at this than I but I'm reasonably certain that uh, the results that I've seen tonight are to be expected. And gas generation resumes pretty quickly when I re when I reconnect the, the probe. So uh, there it is. Our first test run. Production of gas. I am not going to attempt to light it tonight just yet. We'll uh, hold that off for another night. Zero fossil fuel. It's late. I have to go to bed. And I will catch up with you tomorrow or the day after. Thank you.